you guys how you guys doing it is the third day of november i can't believe it the third day um i would like to give thanks to my parents they play an important role in my life because they're my mom and dad and i thank god for them because they gave me the best gift that anyone could give me is the love of god the presence of god god fear in my heart um you know just to give a little um, explanation of what I mean, you know, when I was little, my mom and my dad, you know, even the time they were apart, we would still go to church. We would still participate in events and services where, you know, you, you pray and you worship God. And at the end of the day, no matter what you go through, when you worship, you know, you get that uh, spiritual strength, you get that supernatural strength that n nothing else can give it to you. You could work out, weight train, but that spiritual strength, if you don't have it at the end of the day, you're going to fall. You know, you're going to fall. You're going to feel weak. But when you start to worship and you, you surrender to God and you give everything to God, mentally, spiritually, you become stronger. And this is where your strength comes in. This is, where, this is where your physical strength comes in when you literally pick yourself back up and start to go. And um, I just thank God for them. I just thank God for, um, for allowing them to be my parent and planting that seed in my heart to the point that that seed grew. And, you know, through storms, through floods, through... Um, droughts that plant grew into a beautiful 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 flower beautiful beautiful tree in the mighty name of jesus and you know how would i say this to you guys to you know understand the concept on how my mind is working um it's like when you go through a hard time no one else will understand you no one else will be able to help you the way you need help and sometimes you feel so down it's almost like you feel like you are depressed and you feel weak spiritually and you don't want to move you don't want to do anything you just want to stay in the corner to yourself but when you start to worship God when you start to sing it could be any song like I love you Lord and I lift my voice or it could be Jesus loves me this I know for the Bible tells me so or it could be rain on me Lord rain on me Holy Ghost fire fire rain on me <laughs> rain on me Lord rain on me Holy Ghost fire. Wait, is it Holy Ghost power or Holy Ghost fire? All right, it's one of them hymns. Or oh, you could sing another song. Um, <clears throat> what was that song that I like? It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can find one. Oh, there is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search for only eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Bag on Lord, don't go, Seigneur. Bag on Lord, don't go. Hallelujah, Jesus. Else a lot back to she camp can go. Mwenta fat to vim, to vim up shashe. Me bab juen, pears a lot. And as you start to worship, as you start to surrender, as you start to praise God and give Him honor and the glory. Your spirit starts to be 
stronger. You're uplifting yourself as you praise in Jesus. And as you're praising Jesus, his glory, his, his mercy, his love, his warmth, his presence is on you. Okay? So when, and sometimes, usually they say when things are impossible, it's possible for Jesus. It's possible for God. So when you start to worship him, you start to feel strong. And learning that as a young kid, it was very important. It was very important for me because of my journey in life. It was very important for me for my for the things I went through. Because if it wasn't God, if it wasn't God, I would not be here today. Okay? So I would like to thank God for my parents. I would like to thank my parents for giving me that gift of, you know, making me know who Jesus is or telling me about Jesus, bringing me to church and, and making me participate in, in events and choirs and just to get more of an understanding on other services I can do for the kingdom of God. And I, I just want to say thank you to my parents. Thank you to my mom. And today is her birthday. Today is her birthday, and I would like to say thank you, God, for her, and I ask God to continue to bless her, continue to provide for her, continue to bless her health, continue to walk with her, and I ask God to be, please be with my dad and, and continue to bless him, continue to provide for him, continue to protect him and my mom. So I would like to dedicate today this gratitude video to my parents because they gave me an awesome, awesome, awesome awesome number one gift that anyone can give someone is knowing who jesus is introducing me to god that is it that is the word it's introducing me to god and i would like to thank them and show gratitude to them today and this video is for them because again i know how i feel about my jesus about my Jesus. I know how I feel about my Jesus, about my God, and and how he has walked with me and will continue to walk with me and continue to be in my life, be the air that I breathe. I know how I feel about him. I know without him, that is, there is no me. Without Jesus, there is no me. Okay, so I just praise God and I just give God all the glory and I thank you, mom. I thank you, dad, for introducing me to Jesus, for, for taking me to church, for, you know, reading the Bible with me, mom, every Saturday morning, um, um, just, you know, instilling that doctrine in me, just instilling that in me. For me to have an understanding, have the God fear in me, you know, and just planting that seed, that seed. So this video is dedicated to my parents. Happy birthday, mom. I did call her. I didn't get to her. And then she called me when I was at the appointment, doctor's appointment. So I'm going to call her again. But I did sing to her on a voicemail. But I will definitely call her tonight after this video. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And again, if you guys want to take the moment and just, it doesn't have to be every day. Just take a moment, show gratitude to something that you appreciate, you love, and you cherish, and you're grateful for then do it. It doesn't have to be the month of November. It doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be a video. It does. It could be a letter. It could just go into the person, just give them a hug, say, I thank you for everything you have done. I just thank you for being who you are. I just thank you for, you know, just being there, you know, it's just the sign. Just say thank you because you never know. You never know. So this video is for my parents. I love your mom and dad. I'm um, so grateful for you that you instill that in my heart, in my spirit, and also just introducing me to Jesus Christ. 
have a blessed night everyone i hope you guys are blessed by these videos and anyone that's watching these videos may god protect you provide for you may the may the mercy of god be upon you ask for forgiveness guys you know repent and also um let the doors of financial blessing fall upon each and every individual that come across this video let the financial blessing fall upon each and every single individual that comes in onto this video let you have good health okay god bless you with good health financial blessing be upon you let you be the light amongst your family your friends your peers your co-workers your associates anybody let god use you in a mighty way let miracles follow you let signs and wonders follow you in the mighty name of jesus blessings to all that come across this video i love you all and again this video is for you mom and dad thank you for introducing me to jesus i love you guys god bless you